Hold your line. Oh my god. Left. Keep it within the track limits. Car right. Still there. There's an incident in International Horseshoe. If you I have right absolutely... Right. Everything is valid. I have... Like <laughs> I have absolutely <laughs> no idea what happened there. Welcome everyone to Daytona for this 45 minute IMSA race in preparation for the biggie a Daytona 24 hours which is only a couple of days away as I record this. I will be running this event with my community and we'll be running it in the Cadillac as you can see there on your screen the GTP and well you also notice I'm towards the back of the grid there was actually 26 GTP cars in this split as well as many GT3s. There was nearly a thousand signups for this time slot. So I think Daytona 24 hours this year is gonna break all records of on iRacing. It does it every single year. And yeah, it is a very special event. So hopefully you guys can tune in this weekend. Uh, I will be uh, streaming the whole 24 hours. So remember to turn those notifications on. But yes, I started at the back of the grid, not by my own choosing. I did try to qualify. Um, I need to get that written on a t-shirt. I tried to qualify because I genuinely did, but I got to slow down through the bus stop, which is very easy to do on cold tires. And I dropped it, which is a silly mistake, on my second lap into one of the horseshoes. So yes, a lot of work to do here, but it gives me a good preparation for the actual event on Saturday because we've got a lot of traffic. We've got a lot of, uh, a lot of metal in front of us that we need to navigate our way through. So... Let's see what we can do. How far up the grid can we finish? And well, guys, who needs comedy when you have a multi-class race? Let's get into it. All right, guys, here we go. First Daytona race of Daytona week. Leading up to the 24 hours. Let's see what this interesting race has in store for us. 26 GTPs, that is a lot of us. As many GT3s as well, so no LMP2s. That'll go green. Here we go, don't fuck this up. Floor it, green, green, green. Bit slow off the mark there, but hey ho. I'm sure there'll be incidents. Let's go. Car left, incident in turn one. It looks like Rodriguez. Car left, oh, yellow oh, flag. Man, Watch out, wait. clear left. Well, you closed the door when I was already there, so I don't know how that makes sense. Car left. You were a left side. Is already it's already in front Clear left. Brother, look at the replay. You literally won left. <laughs> already drama. Car right. You already lost the series. So I can avoid you. <laughs> You went on the grass to go alongside me, man. That's not alongside me. Oh. Okay, Good bro, start. look at the replay after. Zero X there. So those two are not happy with each other. Bit of fuel saving. Gonna be needed in this race. Especially in the real event. Be careful of Christian behind because he's probably gonna be a man who's angry after the start. Keep it up. We're looking good here. There's an incident in International Horseshoe. You think it might be Thompson? Yeah, I've lost out there. This guy's really helped me up. Ah, oh, Christian sweep round the outside, and I got stuck there from the defence. On your left. Still there. Still there. Clear left. Had to make that move. Good move, mate. 
Oh, I'll tell you what, if I didn't shift... If I didn't shift down there... I think I would have run into Christian. You got a bit of out of shape. Number three be there, didn't even realise that. Oh, you fucking brakes, man. I agree, Sean. The leader has just done a 132.0. Don't know who that was targeted at, but I agree. What is so hard about just holding your brakes? Are you, like, incompetent or something? I so agree. Car right. Air right. All right. He's still there. Clear right. Christian's getting a little bit out of shape here. I kind of didn't want that because I wasn't really close enough. To go for a move. And I'm wary I've got someone right up my behind. Refueling window will open after 15 minutes. It closes after 33 minutes. Yeah, we'll try and fuel save as much as we can. Hopefully these guys are pushing. Try and make up a few more positions before we head into GT3s. Damn it, out of shape there. Not my best bus stop. Looks like that guy's got to slow down. See plenty of that this week and in the 24 hour event itself. The leader has just done a 131.6. New fastest lap for four, 131.4. P17, good lap, that's your best in the session. Sector one is 0.7 off the pace. Slightly hit the wall there. And it really threw me off. Come on, Scott. Gain your composure again. Didn't My come bad, up as sorry. zero X or anything, but... Move under the braking, Joe. Don't do that, man. That's illegal. <laughs> Just done a 132.0. That's your best lap in this session. On the grass a little bit there. Bag out here, GTP, uh, GT3. So if I can try and nick a position here with Christian, I'm 
not going to happen. Got too much understeer. Too much from dirty air. But next lap is where the fun begins. Some moves happening up in front, but it's a bunch of pack up a bit. Cars. Oh no, GT, it's GT3s, that's what happened. In turn one, it looks like it's Thompson. Slower class car ahead. Two idiots fighting for the size of the peak. Just clear left. Drive, guys. Idiots. Fight for losing <laughs> time. Oh, but we're fast racing. Right, man. Right, man. There's an incident in turn five. It looks like so Rodriguez. many insults. Why did you turn right, Beamer? Right side's clear. That's P3 losing it there. Bro, fuck off. Good timing there. So he's getting the draft from the GT3 in front. You're approaching a group of slower cars. Thank you. Car left, clear left, 13th place. Car left. Still there. He's still there. Hold your line. Oh my god. Left. Keep it within the track limits. Car right. Still there. There's an incident in International Horseshoe. If you I have right absolutely... Clear Everything right. is valid. Second down in Sector 3. So I, have, like the <laughs> I have absolutely <laughs> no idea what happened there. I don't know who was going up on my inside. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm alive. <laughs> You crash you stay quiet, man. Open your eyes. I mean, it looked like the GT3 was just completely shutting the door. On the, on the GTP, but hey ho. GTP is coming to this bro. One to look at after the race. You talk to me there, Pedro. Fuck it all. <laughs> Fuck it all. That is an uncool, wherever. Slower class Put car ahead. man. You Car talking left. to me there, Pedro? Clear left. Love that accent. Well, Ryan's got the nice drive out of there, not being held up by the. Yeah, Luis. If I don't clear my brake, you will be out of the way. By the GT3. Make him work for it. Don't call me an idiot, right? right side. For one. 
I had nowhere to go, a Mercedes GE3 squeezed. A Mercedes blue, man. A Mercedes blue. Clear right. On you're right. a crash in the middle of the... the right. Uh, the track. Not that. Left side. Clear left. I think you need to look at the replay, friend. Lewis, were you the one driven onto the grass? Car right. Clear right. Guys, 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 come on. Uh, let's, let's hold it down a little bit. I was, mate. Yeah, I got squeezed onto the grass. Yeah, I was right behind you, mate. I saw that clear as clear as day. Left side. Clear left. Please, shut up. We want to drive. Gap to Rodriguez. There is a mute button, mate. It's now 1.4 seconds. <laughs> Wait, what you've got that turned in on me? The fuck? The gap in front is increased. I've got a bit of race going on, on YouTube. Seconds. I just want to say hello to my girlfriend, Kaylee. <laughs> the recall button is currently on, mate, yes. <laughs> Uh, love it. I tend to cut out the part where you turned in on me. Just block me onto the apron, you dirty driver. Yeah, yeah we're always the dirty driver, man. What's up, Fern? <laughs> Who needs comedy shows? Just join the NIMSA race. Ah, I ain't got to drive fuel. it. You've used half your fuel. Right side's clear. The mute button may need to be used, I think, in the actual Daytona 24-hour event. Because this is just going to be full-on distracting. Ah, get off the brakes, Scott. Making good progress though, we're up 12 positions. Highest out of anyone. Ah, I see. Front is now 0.6. Not used to that yet. Not used to the really the dirty air from the car in front. Good job, man. Really compromised my exit there. Bit of traffic up ahead though. That lap was at 1.32. Too shallow there, too shallow. Thought I was a lot wider than I was. Five. Oh, there's an incident there. I don't know if that's two GTPs or, and a GT3. I don't know. It looks like two GTPs. Watch the fucking redoing. Oh, that's Ryan who was behind us, so we've got a bit of breathing space there. Yeah, in the top ten, I think. The gap behind has increased. Before a bit stop's even been made. Seconds. Lines. Not even halfway through this race. Right side's clear. On your right. 
Clear right. Do want to get up alongside him there. I was worried about that GT3 being on my inside. Right side. Oh, I can't play around right. for too long here. Otherwise, I don't want these guys to. Get up behind me. Not sure how that was enough track. Pressure on. Don't give him a break. You cut the track. Keep it nice and tidy. people dived into the pits a bit early for my liking maybe because they wanted to get in some clean air Catching GT3 at the worst point. Big lift. Slower class car ahead. Left side, clear left. International horseshoe, left side, clear left, P6, that lap was a 133.5. Thank you. Yeah, just not getting the run on Lawrence at the moment. You 
halfway home. We think about six minutes of fuel left. We're approaching a group of slower class cars. Oh, I was close. Clear left. Then he just got wedged into the barrier there. Opportunity. Be fighting for position, they might not see you. Have a drive there. I didn't get it. P5, the other man, stay on it. That was a 133.0. left. to go, 20 minutes. That was a 133.1. Oh my god, he's so slow there. Come on, find the gap. Definitely better on the brakes than him. But... Slower class car. We're going to go one more lap. We've got one more lap in us. We've saved this lot much. We've got to try and make it stick. Trying to go for a top 10, so. P2. Very little fuel left. Coming to the pits at the end of this lap. Box this lap. Right side's clear. Coming up on a slower class car. Sold up by a bit of traffic. So we keep an eye out on Lawrence. He's not showing back up on our screen yet, but. We're going to take rear tires as well. 
because that massively helps you. We're running on fumes, mate. Wow. In this lap, in this lap. Yeah, I that Just had a warning for cutting the track. The leader is pitting now. Two litres left. Slower class car ahead. Activate limiter. The pit exit looks clear. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 88 kilometers per hour. Fuck! Colonel. Ah, oh, missed. Fuck! This is what I do, guys. This is what I do. I, I can totally fuck up my races. Come in for this penalty in the next three lap. I totally fuck up my races by doing silly shit like that. That's what you get for not doing a fucking practice pit stop, is it? Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. Just watching everyone go by. Oh, we worked so hard to get up to that position. So hard. So fucking hard. I'm nowhere now. I'm nearly dead last. That's how much of a... F oh. No one else to blame but your fucking self. Idiots! Dead last of the runners! Rodriguez is now leading. Sorry, Mark, I locked off. Unbelievable. It looks clear. Slower class car ahead. Do not, do not fucking do that in a big event. Fifteen minutes left, that's fifteen minutes. Left side. Clear left. Four is now in the My head's gone. My head's gone. Ah. Uh. Damn it, man. The guy in front is four. B9, nice and smooth with that throttle. Keep it balanced. Slower car. Car right. Clear right. Rodriguez. Car left. Well, we've got a race on our hands for 18th position, guys. That has just uh, really slowed me down there. 
Not much else you can do when you get caught behind a GC3 at the bus stop. Apart from lift and try and best time your exit. Eighth place. Slower cars ahead. These guys are scrapping for position. They might not see you. Oh my god, I've got no... Left side. Clear left. He got caught up with a GT3 there. Give me the suck. The car in front is four. P11. Left side. He's still there. Clear left. Last cars ahead. On your left. Clear left. Relax, focus, keep it smooth. Ten minutes remaining, ten minutes. Left side. Clear left. I'll tell you what, GT3s have been very good. I've had one incident with the Merc, where we saw him just drive off. The, uh, the GTP, but I think that was that whole scenario was there was a lot going on there. The guy in front is Rodriguez. Oh, I thought that was going to be a slowdown. Stewards have warned us about track limits. Keep it between the lines. Oh man, where would we be? Where would we be after ahead. pit stops? I He's don't know. Class leader. Right, clear right, E12. I pulled that gap to behind. could possibly underfuel the car, you know, a little bit than what, say, Crew Chief or iRacing suggests for you because of still the amount of lift and coach you're going to have to do with traffic. I don't know how much you would, though, but... B13. The 
guy in front is all. Man, that, I'll tell you what, that 40 second slowdown, I know I've said it multiple times already, absolute killer, like, the next one is not far behind me. A real shame, a real shame, so I've thrown away a decent result there after starting second from last. P12, you've just done a 131.7. Heard a few clicks there, crew chief. Did you want to say something? Did you want to say something, Jim? If it was telling me to hurry the fuck up, it's a good thing you didn't say anything. Oh, three more laps, guys. We've been warned about track limits. I'm coming up on a slower car. I need to check these off tracks, you know. Some of them seem very unfair. Very dubious. I don't feel like I've got all four wheels inside the white line. Behind is now 4.6 seconds. P11. There's a group of slower cars ahead. Thank you again. Give a little flash of the lights there to make GT3s aware if things are going to be a little close. Is that corner? Push now, we can catch this guy. So many crashes happen. I mean, if a GT3 knows right. Right, that a GTP clear. is going to be going through their full steam, sometimes a GT3 just stays wide or they lift slightly to let them through. Ah, oh, okay. I'll agree, I'll agree that that was an off track. I, I got on the grass there. Which is frustrating, because this is, feels like a good time. Into attack mode for the last few laps. Seven. Right on the fresh shoulder. Well, I did lock up, wasn't I? But you know what I mean. Shift down at first just to get the front end in. Oh, why are you blind or something? Let's 
Something to do with that break in. That was the G second P2 GT3 that was. Coming up on a slower class car, two minutes to go, two minutes. There's an incident in, turn 12. Four is now in the lead. Car left. Clear left. Oh, I may catch P17. Yes, he's got damage. Five minutes of fuel <laughs> A little less I rate in loss. On your right. Right side's clear. P8. There's an incident in. International horseshoe. There you go. There's a group of slower cars ahead. Car left. Clear left. On your left. Clear left. Left side. Clear left. Clear left. I think mean, I've got flashed there. Was he not happy that I passed? Did it cleanly. Look out. Oh, no way. Slower class car ahead. Car left. Clear left. I'll tell you what, car incident left. limit left. <laughs> over the course of a 24 hour event. It's going to be close. It could be a few drive through penalties, you know. So easy just to pick up those 1Xs, like multiple in a stint. Last lap, guys. Last lap. Tenth position. One more to go. Let's make it a good end. Give me the tell the yellow Porsche. I have no fuel. No fuel. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Don't push him. I want the position. <laughs> Incident in, turn two. Looks like it's Clarkson. Here we go guys, last time through the bus stop. Full throttle across the line. Ah, it's a race of what could have been. Lawrence finished in P10 there, and that's the guy we were We've fighting. So Lawrence finished in P10, definitely on for a top 10 finish. You think it might be? Come on. Starting from 25th out of 26 cars. 16th place, hey, and fun. there's the finish. Good result mate, well Good done. Again. Damn it! Well, look, we know what we did. Positives, though, very good positive. Fastest lap at the end there, 31.5. Definitely a lot more pace in um, in there from me personally. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's go have a look at the many incidents that were in this race. Right then, guys, let's have a look at those incidents. So, at the start here, into T1. Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, that wasn't good, was it? All of his own doing, though. Oh my god, what is going on there? Poor form, whoever that was. Oh, Jesus, what happened with the Bentley? Oh, on board with the Bentley. Oh, just loses it on his own. Loses it on his own. You can see, kind of, he's on the curb in. And the car's 
car's just bobbling around a bit. Cold tyres gets on throttle and loses it. T1 again. Oh, just carried a bit too much speed there. Better on the brakes, really. Then uh, the guy ahead and caught him out. Oh. Oh. It's like he got bounced off of the car in front. It's like the, like the car in front had a force field. Oh, another one. People getting caught under braking. Oh, that was me. Yeah, that was... That was... Um, oh, who was that? Christian. Christian in front of me. Yeah, he... That's where he had that little wobble and I had to check up slightly. T1 again. Oh, he's going. He's going. Uh-oh. 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 The GT3 has disappeared. Oh! Okay. Let's, let's have a look at that. Did he get punted off? Oh, it was... I don't. I still don't know how the rear goes like that when you make contact with the front of the car. So far, all GTPs... Oh, this was the Merc. This was Lewis. Oh, yeah, he's just... Just got oh that's the one we had to avoid well held by lewis nearly caught us how's no one hit him oh my god lucky oh okay then he does the hitting <laughs> so let's let's just slow this down because i know lewis will be watching this and possibly his girlfriend too kaylee <laughs> let's have a look what happened so this this was we'll have a look at it from on board myself in a second as well because there was a lot that occurred here but let's have a look at it from Lewis, Lewis's perspective. So the Mercedes in front kind of is obviously looking in his mirrors at this point while he's going for the apex. He's probably thinking, oh dear, I've got two GTPs right behind me. Now, where does the Mercedes go here? So Lewis is thinking he can go around the outside. A little bit ambitious, Lewis, must admit, but you back out of it. You back out of it. Fair, fair play, fair play. But the Merc is definitely put off by the other GTP on the left. Yep. And then here, he should be moving over to the left. But the GTP... Uh, sorry, not GTP. The, the Mercedes doesn't. Uh -uh. He's just completely misread that situation. I think he thinks you was also going on your left, on his inside. But he should have moved back over to the racing line and didn't expect you going around there. And that's why he squeezed you. So, yeah, there was a lot that happened there. And we're just going to rewind it back from my perspective because I remember there being... What happened with me? So... Yeah, all of a sudden, like, I remember him breaking early. I outbreak him on the outside. I'm going round the Mercedes here, but he also goes up the inside of this Mercedes, making it free wide. Oh my God, I didn't realize that was the case. So he's always on my inside here. I didn't realize that. And then we're free wide again. That's, I did wonder why the BMW didn't, I did wonder why the BMW wasn't more over to the left i was like he's not moving he's not moving why is he not moving so i had to like take two wheels to the grass i mean look how close the the black car here gets to the to the bmw so lucky we all got through it and then he was there and i was like where have you come from i swear i overtook you two corners ago and then yeah very fortunate here to not make contact with anyone so, anyway, on to the next incident. <laughs> what have we got here? Oh, we've got a GTP not knowing where he wants to go. And he's got damage there from a light tap to the rear. GTPs are very, very... I mean, they're not, they're not very sturdy, are they? Oh, same car. Same car, actually. Oh, he's lost it. Oh, oh. Oh, I mean, I don't think it matters how sturdy your car is. If, if, if that's going to happen. Uh, yeah. Oh, I stop again. The intention was there to give him a nudge and a push. I guess it worked. No damage? Doesn't look like they got damage. I'm 
not sure. No, I think he's got damage. I think you can see the, the rear light's kind of like a bit wonky, whereas on the right-hand side, it should be straighter. I'll tell you what. I mean, maybe it's because I'm just not drawing in enough cars and I'm missing all of the GT3 incidents, but all of the incidents have been with the GTPs. Oh, same guys. Same guys. Oh, wishful thinking on the brakes there. Those were the two that, yeah, we drove past. Oh, that lost him his rear wing. Interesting. And then that was when they said, rejoin, rejoin behind. Interesting that lost him his rear. I mean, it was a bit of a hard whack, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. Get out of my way. <laughs> oh, this is going to end well. Oh my God, he's got three of them behind him, and they all. <laughs> What's a livery? This is, by the way, top-notch livery. Not top-notch driving, though. At least he had the decency to reverse away from the racing line and could see where cars were coming from. I always say, hold your brakes, which he did. Oh, is this, this where we're now getting to the GT3s? Don't worry, I did that. Yeah, that's the moving... Oh, I, I, yeah, that's the moving under braking. That was where we heard... That's illegal! It's illegal! Right, let's, let's watch that one more time from the uh, other car's perspective. Yeah, I mean, that's a slam dunk, isn't it? That's a slam dunk penalty. If you protested that, I think they'd get a warning. And there we go. That's all the incidents. So, all in red there, unfortunately. A real, real shame. If we have a look at the final result here, as you can see. So, Lawrence was who we was directly behind, and we were trying to jump in the pit lane. He ended up finishing 10th. Um, I don't know where he came out um, after the pit stops, but, yeah, that's who we were fighting. And we potentially could have beaten Lawrence and got him at the pit stops, which if you think for later on, I mean, I don't know if Lawrence had an issue because I'm pretty sure we were ahead of Ryan and Lewis by the time we made pit stops. So I don't know if Lawrence had an issue somewhere, but even so, definitely a top 10 finish after starting 25th in that race was on the cards if it wasn't for my stupid mistake and that's the worst mistake of all guys is when it's your own i i would actually rather be taken out by someone because then it's not your fault and i feel like i get over it very quickly whereas if it's my fault i hold on to it for a little bit longer so practice starts uh, practice pit stops uh, especially the entry is to be done i totally misjudged that totally misjudged it um maybe it was the gt3 that put me off maybe not normally the entry that i would take hey ho need to go back and review and practice those before the weekend but yeah good win by adam there um led 24 laps started p2 31 free fastest lap and well there we are 15 minus 10 i rating minus 0.11 safety rating um not too bad really in the grand scheme of things 15th position and yeah fastest lap was a 31.5 so difficult to kind of get i feel like the fastest lap is going to come more at the start of the race even with full fuel um especially in that first quarter when you've got good tires but only if like you're in clean air or you have like a slingshot around someone um we got caught out by taking rear tires as well i don't think i would necessarily do that in the next imsa i don't think um uh, they had 84, 85 um, on the rears and the fronts. So I think I'd probably just leave those on, guys, if you're doing any more IMSA races this week. Um, I don't think there's really any benefit. Um, I haven't tested to see if the amount of fuel you take, it's worth taking. There's no time loss in taking all tyres. If there is no time loss with the amount of fuel you're taking and you can get tyres changed in the meantime, then go for it. Probably it is worth it. But two tyres, probably not. Um, with the amount of wear that we had so yeah guys that was it um overall though happy with my overall driving performance and the way that i dealt with the traffic and the way that i dealt with my overtakes as well uh quite methodical in it happy with the fuel saving just that one mistake absolute 
killer. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember to hit like and subscribe button. Remember to tune in this Saturday as I'm recording this for the Daytona 24 hours. We'll be live at half 11 and doing the 24 hours with a community team. So yeah, I'll be starting the race. I'll be qualifying. So yeah, hope to see you guys there. Remember to like and subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and I'll see you for the Daytona 24. Bye.